Salam. I want to give all praises and all glory to Yehovah, Shem HaShabbat, Shem HaKadash, and the double honest and the elders and apostles of Great Millstone and Thomas Truth. And please bless the citations to the hopeful let. <sighs> and yeah, man, I literally um, came downstairs and um, went into the kitchen and, and saw this man. And I knew it was the spirit of the Lord, man. Now, a lesson can be done from this. Because the scriptures are about this. Let me play them. <coughs> and someone who isn't spiritual. <coughs> they, they won't understand that. But like the scripture same and um what was it called again? Matthew 6 and 20, let me start 25. It says, Therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life, what you shall eat or what you shall drink, nor yet for your body, what you shall put on. Is not the life more than meat and the body than raiment? Behold the fowls of the air or the birds. For they sow not, neither do they reap. Yeah, they don't farm. <clears throat> and they don't gather or harvest. <clears throat> it says, No gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are ye not much better than they? <coughs> so, yes, the Lord can feed these fowls. Like, like, as you see in the video, man. They're up in, my, they're up in the garden, in my, in my back garden, just munching man having a having a little having a little feast and, and enjoying the food that the heavenly father has bestowed upon them man <clears throat> and i bet them fathers are, are thankful man <clears throat> like they'll have their little meal and then they'll fly off and, and, and go about their business <clears throat> and, like the, and like the lord said man <coughs> Job 5 and 19, it says, He shall deliver thee in six troubles, yea, in seven days shall no evil touch thee. In famine, he shall redeem thee from death and from war, from the power of the sword. And yeah, famine being a scarcity of food, meaning there's not enough to go around. And like the scripture say, man, are you not better than the fowls? And like the video that you, you just watched, <clears throat> showing the fowls eating, man, being fed by your how was him, how it's <clears throat> and you know, let me get this as well, man. Second address two and twenty six, and it says, "As for the servants whom I have given thee, there shall none suffer; so there shall not one of them perish. <clears throat> for I will acquire them from among thy number. Be not weary, for when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh, others shall weep and be sorrowful." But thou shall be merry and have abundance. <clears throat> so the Lord isn't, isn't going to give you some little scraps. <laughs> or he's not going to allow you to come across some, some garbage in, in Jacob's trouble. Or during the time of famine. <clears throat> like literally the Lord going to give you a feast man. He's going to give you <clears throat> more than you can actually handle. That's what I'm having it in an abundance means. Meaning you have loads of it. So there's going to be enough water and, and fluids to drink. There's going to be enough food <clears throat> to eat, man. <laughs> Yo, when the, when, the, when the Lord talks about blessing his servants, he, he's, he's really going to do that, man. And right now, we don't really understand it. But when it happens, then you're going to understand it. <clears throat> and it says, the heathen shall envy thee. But they shall be able to do nothing against thee, save the Lord. Yeah, save Yahweh Shai, man. Because Yahweh Shai, son of the plagues. And let's get that. <coughs> so, gonna just 13. Not 13. So, gonna just 16. <coughs> and 3. It says, A sword is sent upon you. 
and he may turn it back. A fight is set among you, and he may quench it. And these are these are rhetorical questions. And it says, plagues are sent unto you, and what is he that may drive them away? And you have one of those plagues being famine. And it says, may any man drive away a hungry lion in the wood, or may anyone quench the fire in the stubble when it have begun to burn. And it says, may one turn again the arrow that shall be strong archer, the mighty Lord, being Yahushai, Hamashiach, then if the plagues, and who is he that can drive them away? A fire shall go forth from his wrath, and who is he that may quench it? He shall cast lightnings, and who shall not fear? He shall thunder, and who shall not be afraid? The Lord Yahushai shall threaten, and who shall not be utterly beaten to powder his presence? The earth quaketh from the foundation to rust. The sea arises up with waves from the deep, and the waves of it are troubled, and the fishes thereof also, before the Lord Yahushua, and before the glory of his power. So as you see, man, the mighty Lord Yahushua sendeth the plagues, and there's none that can drive him away. The same way he sendeth the plagues on the ancient Egyptians, being that death angel. <clears throat> the same way he's going to send the plagues again on <clears throat> spiritual Egypt. <coughs> like it says, man. Um, let me get that as well. <coughs> Second Ezra fifteen <clears throat> and ten. It said, "Behold, my people is dead as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt." <coughs> and this Egypt that I'm talking about is spiritual Egypt. Which <coughs> huh. So where was I um like I said it's talking about spiritual Egypt and spiritual Egypt being America, also known as the door of Babylon. And the word Egypt goes into the house of bondage. <coughs> So when it says, I shall not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt, it's talking about the house of bondage. <clears throat> so like it says, But I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretch, forth, and a stretch out arm, and smite Egypt with plagues as before. Meaning, <clears throat> the Lord is going to bring these plagues back. <clears throat> I mean, he's going to do it again. But he's going to do it on the spiritual Egypt, which is America. <clears throat> that, and that's how we know it's not talking about um, modern day Egypt <clears throat> or ancient Egypt where the um, how much used to rule and then you had the, the Greeks that's the Romans over there too and then <clears throat> now you got Ishmael or the so called Arabs over there in the land <clears throat> it's not talking about that place it's talking about America <clears throat> and yeah, let me carry on. He says, I'm smite easy with plagues as before, and will destroy all the land thereof. <clears throat> and the Lord didn't destroy all the land of Egypt. Yeah, I mean, I sent the plagues on, on, on ancient Egypt, <clears throat> but he didn't destroy it. So, like I said, I mean, this is talking about spiritual Egypt being America. <clears throat> Because not only is he going to send plays over there, they're going to be in their perfection. And only that is also going to destroy the whole land <coughs> and turn it into a desert. <coughs> <coughs> and it says, Egypt shall mourn and the foundations of it shall be smitten with the plague and punishment that God shall bring upon it. <coughs> <coughs> So, yeah, man. I hope this is edifying. I want to give a praises, honor, and glory to you. I want to give a praise, honor, and glory to you. I want to give a praise, honor, and glory to you.